The community of Madrid is one of the 17 autonomous communities of Spain. It is located at the center of the country, the Iberian Peninsula, and the Castilian Central Plateau. It is conterminous with the province of Madrid, making it uniprovincial, or a community with only one province. Its capital is the city of Madrid, which is also the national capital of Spain. It is bounded to the south and east by Castile-La Mancha and to the north and west by Castile and León. It has a population of 6,369,167 mostly concentrated at the metropolitan area of Madrid. The creation of the contemporary community of Madrid was preceded by an intense political debate during the pre-autonomic period, that is, the period of political debate that led to the institution of autonomous communities as the first level political divisions of Spain consisted of provinces a political division that had existed since the 1833 territorial division of Spain. Autonomous communities were to be created by one or more provinces with a distinct regional identity, since Madrid was part of the historical region of Castile, assigned to New Castile in the 1833 provincial organization. It was first planned that the province of Madrid would be part of the future community of Castile-La Mancha but with some special considerations is the home of the national capital. The integrating provinces of Castile-La Mancha opposed such a special status, and after considering other options, like its inclusion to the community of Castile and Leon or its constitution as an entity similar to a federal district, it was decided that the province of Madrid would become a single province autonomous community by appealing to the 144th article of the constitution, whereby the parliament can authorize the creation of an autonomous community, even if it did not satisfy the requirement of having a distinct historical identity, if it was the nation's interest. Thus, in 1983, the Community of Madrid was constituted and a statute of autonomy was approved taking over all the competences of the old Diffitation Provincial in the new ones the statute considered. The Community of Madrid statute also recognizes the Castilian Association of the Community and its membership in the Castilian region. The city of Madrid was designated as the capital of the community as well as has been explicitly designated as the capital of the country by the 1978 constitution. Nonetheless, several proposals have been made to make other towns the capital of the community like Alcala de Hernes in the 1980s, and more recently, Getafe, without any relevance. History Prehistory and the Visigothic Kingdom The territory of the community of Madrid has been populated since the Lower Paleolithic, mainly in the valleys between the rivers of Manzanares, Jaramuth, and Hernes, where several archaeological findings have been made. Some notable discoveries of the region The bell-shaped vase of Siem Pozuelos during the Roman Empire, the region was part of the Citeria Tarraconis province, except for the southwest portion of it, which belonged to Lusitania. It was crossed by two important Roman roads, the Via XXI VXXIX, and contained some important conurbations. The city of Complutum became an important metropolis, whereas Titulsha and Mircum were important crossroad communities. During the period of the Visigothic Kingdom, the region lost its importance. The population was scattered amongst several small towns. Alcala de Henares was designated the Bishop seat in the 5th century by orders of Asturio, Archbishop of Toledo, but this event was not enough to bring back the lost splendor of the city. Al-Andalus The center of the peninsula was one of the least populated regions of the Al-Andalus until the 11th century when it became important in a strategic military post. The Muslim governors created a defensive system of fortresses and towers all across the region with which they tried to stop the advance of the Christian kingdoms of the north. The fortress of Mayrith was built somewhere between 860 and 880 AD as a walled precinct where a military and religious community lived. 
and which constituted the foundation of the city. It soon became the most strategic fortress in defense of the city of Toledo above the fortresses of Talamanca de Jarama and Kyle at Abd al-Salam. In 1083, King Alfonso VI of Castile conquered the city of Madrid, and two years later, Toledo. All Carla de Henares fell in 1118 in a new period of Castilian annexation. Christian repopulation The recently conquered lands by the Christian kingdoms were desegregated into several constituencies. As a consequence of a long process of repopulation that took place over the course of four centuries, the feudal and ecclesiastical lords came into constant conflict with the different councils that had been granted the authority to repopulate. In the 13th century, Madrid was the only city of the region that preserved its own juridical personality. At first with the old Fuero and later with the royal Fuero, granted by Alfonso X of Castile in 1262 and ratified by Alfonso XI in 1339. On the other hand, the town of Butrigo de Lazoya, Alcala de Henares and Talamanca de Jarama, which were rapidly repopulated until that century, were under the dominion of the feudal or ecclesiastical lords. Specifically, Alcala de Henares was under the hands of the Archbishopric of Toledo and remained so until the 19th century. Around the town of Madrid, an administrative territory was created known as Tierra de Madrid. The origin of the province that included the areas of the current municipalities of San Sebastián de los Reyes, Corbina, Las Rosas de Madrid, Rivas Vacha Madrid, Torrejón de Velasco, Alcorcón, San Fernando de Henares, and Grinón. This council was in constant strife with Segovia, which was one of the most influential cities of Castile, as they both fought for the control of Real de Manzanares a large comarca that was finally given to the House of Mendoza. Madrid made capital Castilian monarchs showed a predilection for the center of the peninsula, with abundant forests and game. El Pardo was a region visited frequently by kings since the time of Henry III in the 14th century. The Catholic monarchs started the construction of the royal palace of Aranjuez. In the 16th century, San Lorenzo de El Escorial was built and became another royal site of the province. The town of Madrid, which was one of the 18 cities with the right to vote in the courts of Castile, was seat of the courts themselves on several occasions and was the residence of several monarchs. Amongst them the Emperor Charles I who reformed and expanded the Alcazar or castle of the city. Besides its growing political importance, it also became a cultural center with the foundation of the University of Alcala de Henares in 1508. In 1561, King Philip II made Madrid the capital of the empire. The surrounding territories became economically subordinated to the town itself, even beyond the present-day limits of the community of Madrid. But it was not a unified region as several lords and churches had jurisdiction over their own autonomous territories. During the 18th century, the fragmented administration of the region was not solved despite several attempts. During the reign of Philip V the Intendencia was created as a political and administrative division. Nonetheless, the Intendencia of Madrid did not fully solve the problem, and the region was still fragmented into several small dominions even though some processes were centralized. This territorial dispersion had a negative effect on its economic growth, while the town of Madrid received economic resources from the entire country as the capital. The surrounding territories, in hands of noblemen or the clergy, became impoverished. During the 18th century, the town of Madrid was transformed through several grandiose buildings and monuments as well as through the creation of many social, economic, and cultural institutions, some of which are still operating. Madrid grew to a population of 156,672 inhabitants by the end of the 18th century. Province and autonomous community In 1833, a new administrative division of the country was set in place, and the province of Madrid was created. 
The province belonged to the region of New Castile, a region that, just like the rest, had only the purpose of classification, since regions were not autonomous political administrative divisions. In the 20th century during the process that preceded the creation of the autonomous communities of Spain, a fear of a political inequality amongst the proposed constituent provinces of the community of Castile-La Mancha led to the creation of the Autonomous Community of Madrid, which was the last autonomous community of Spain created. Geography Despite the existence of a large city of 5 million people, the community of Madrid still retains some remarkably unspoiled and diverse habitats and landscapes. Madrid is home to mountain peaks rising above 2,000 meters, home oak to Hesis and low-lying plains. The slopes of the Wadarama mountain range are cloaked in dense forests of Scots pine and Pyrenean oak. The Lozoya Valley supports a large black vulture colony and one of the last bastions of the Spanish imperial eagle in the world is found in the Parque Regional del Sureste in de Hesse Hills between the Grados and Wadarama Ranges. The recent possible detection of the existence of Iberian links in the area between the Cofio and Albish rivers is testament to the biodiversity of the area. Taking advantage of the orography, there are several reservoirs and dams in TH region, with the Santillana Reservoir being the largest. When looking at a map of the province of Madrid, it can be seen that it is almost an equilateral triangle, in whose center would be the city. It seems that Madrid's geographic limits turn out to be those of nature. On the western side, the system is central. The south represents the desire to include Iran Wes. And finally the eastern edge of the triangle comes from the rupture of the fluvial river basins. Province of Madrid occupies a surface area of approximately 8,028 square kilometers. More specifically, the exact position of Madrid is 3 degrees 40 of longitude west of Greenwich, England, and 40 degrees 23 north of the equator. Practically all of the province is located between 601,000 meters above sea level, with the highest point being Penalara at 2,430 meters and the lowest Albish River in Villa del Prado at 430 meters. Other considerable heights, as well as being famous, are the Ball of the World Mountain in Navasarada, at a height of 2,258 meters and the Seven Peaks in Sursadilla, at 2,138 meters. Climate The region of Madrid has a temperate continental Mediterranean climate with cold winters with temperatures sometimes dropping below zero degrees Celsius. There are about two to three light snowfalls each year. Summer tends to be hot with temperatures that consistently surpass 30 degrees Celsius in July and that can often reach 40 degrees Celsius. Due to Madrid's high altitude and dry climate, nightly temperatures tend to be cooler, leading to a lower average in the summer months. Average precipitation levels are below 500 mm, evenly distributed throughout the year, with peaks in autumn and spring. Politics and Government Institutions of government in the process whereby democracy was restored in Spain between 1975 and 1978. The nationalist and regionalist parties pressed to grant home rule to certain territories in Spain. The Constitution of 1978 opened a legal way for autonomous communities to be formed from provinces with common historical and cultural links. Even though the province of Madrid belonged to the cultural and historical region of Castile, the other provinces refused to include Madrid in their autonomic developments and, finally, it was granted autonomy as a single province community by means of the 144th Article of the Constitution which declared an exception to the aforementioned rule in the creation of autonomous communities if it was the nation's interest. The Community of Madrid was created in 1982 after the elaboration of a Statute of Autonomy later approved by the General Courts of Spain. All autonomous communities are organized politically within a parliamentary system, that is, the executive branch of government, known as president, in the case of the Community of Madrid, is dependent on the direct support of the legislative power, 
whose members elect him by majority. The Statute of Autonomy of the Madrid Autonomous Community is the fundamental organic law in conjunction with the Spanish Constitution. The Statute of Autonomy establishes that the government of the community is exercised through the Commonwealth of Madrid, formed by the Madrid Assembly represents the people of Madrid and exercises the legislative power of the community in approving and supervising the budget and in coordinating and controlling the actions of the government. The seat of the Assembly is the borough of Vallecas. The Assembly is integrated by 120 members elected through proportional representation with closed party lists. The President of Madrid is the supreme representative of the community and the ordinary representation of the state. It presides and heads the activities of the Government of Madrid, designates and dismisses the Vice Presidents and the Councillors which can form an Executive Cabinet. The President is elected by the Assembly, appointed by the King and is usually the leader of the party or coalition with the absolute majority of seats in the Assembly. The seat of the Presidency is the Real Casa de Corius Palace located at the Plaza of the Puerta del Sol at the centre of Madrid. From 2003 to 2012, the community of Madrid was headed by Esperanza Vaguire, the first woman elected for that office in Spain. She resigned the 17th of September due to health and other personal reasons, and was succeeded by Ignacio González González. The current president is Cristina Cifuentes. The Government of Madrid, Government Council, is the collegiate institution that heads the politics and the executive and administrative powers of the community. Nowadays, the Board of Councillors comprises the President, the Deputy President, and nine councillors. Elections The Community of Madrid follows the normal electoral calendar set for all autonomous communities, with the exception of the four original communities that are historic nationalities or regions, which have the faculty of calling elections at any time, namely Catalonia, the Basque Country, Galicia, and Andalusia. The only exception to this occurred in May 2003, in which due to the absentee vote of two socialist deputies, there was no legal possibility to forming a government. Therefore, new elections were held in October 2003, outside the established electoral calendar. Municipalities The Community of Madrid is organized territorially into 179 municipalities and 801 towns and entities. Its municipalities comprise 2.2% of Spanish territory. It is ranked 23rd amongst Spanish provinces in number of municipalities, which is slightly above average. The average is 165 municipalities by province. Burgos has the largest number of municipalities with 371 municipalities, and Las Palmas the fewest with 34. There are 20 judicial districts, whose seats correspond to the following municipalities. In Madrid, the average area of a municipality is 44.8 square kilometers, slightly larger than the national average. Madrid is by far the largest. Between 1948 and 1954, the city annexed the neighboring municipalities of Chamartin de la Rosa, Fu en Carol, Barajas, El Pardo, Hortaleza, Canillas. Canaljas, V. Calvaro, Vallecas, Villaverde, Carabanchal Alto, Carabanchal Baja and Aravaca, all former districts or neighborhoods. The five largest municipalities by area are Madrid 605.8 square kilometers, Aranjuez 189.1 square kilometers, Colmenar Viejo 182.6 square kilometers, Rascafria 150.3 square kilometers, and Manzanares El Real 128.4 square kilometers. The smallest municipalities by area are Casaru Buelos 5.3 square kilometers, La Serna del Monte 5.4 square kilometers, Palaios de la Presa 7.6 square kilometers, Madarcos 8.5 square kilometers, and Torrejon de la Calzada 9.0 square kilometers. 
Madrid also includes the exclave of Dehesa de la Cepeda, a mostly open area geographically located between the provinces of Avila and Segovia in the autonomous community of Castile and Leon. The most populous municipalities are Madrid 3,165,235, Mosteles 205,712, Alcala de Henares 200,768, Fuenlabrada 195,864, Leganes 186,696. Getafe 173,057, Alcorcan 170,336, Torre Hondorados 126,878, Parla 125,323, Olcalbenders 112,188, Las Rosas de Madrid 92,784. Coslada 88,847. Economy. Madrid is the autonomous community with the highest income per capita in Spain at 31,004 euros in 2014 significantly above the national average in ahead of the Basque country. Navarre and Catalonia. In that year, the GDP growth was 1.0%. Madrid has a GDP of 219.8 billion euros as of 2009, this is second in Spain only to Catalonia, where regional GDP amounted to 230.4 billion euros but ahead of the largest Spanish region, Andalusia. In 2005, the community of Madrid was the main receptor of foreign investment in the country, at 34.3% of the total. The community ranks 34th amongst all European regions, and 50th amongst the most competitive cities regions worldwide. Ahead of Barcelona and Valencia, the other two largest metropolitan areas of Spain, the strengths of the economy of the community are its low unemployment rate, its high investment in research, its high development, and the added value services therein performed. Its weaknesses include the low penetration of broadband and new technologies of information and an unequal male-to-female occupation. The service, construction, and industry sectors are prominent in Madrid's commercial productive structure. According to the Directorio Central per Empresas, Madrid's active businesses stand in third place nationally in terms of numbers as at 1 January 2006. The branches of activity with most active businesses are other business activities, retail trade, construction, wholesale trade, hospitality property activities, land transport, and pipeline transport. Madrid's levels of industry set it at fourth place in Spain. The following areas predominate in terms of business numbers. Publishing in graphic arts, manufacture of metal products, manufacture of furniture and other manufacturing industries, wearing apparel and fur industry, and food products industry. The province also boasts a higher concentration of high and medium technology activities and services than the rest of Spain. This is the case in the following areas. Manufacture of office machinery and IT equipment. Manufacture of electronic products. Manufacture of radio equipment and devices. Manufacture of medical and surgical precision. Optical and timekeeping equipment and instruments, post and telecommunications, IT activities, and research and development.